you have come to the place where you can learn to harness the power of intention, to create subconscious beliefs that serve you, and to gain insights that allow you to create a life personally and professionally that you desire. This is the place where you leverage your subconscious mind and design your destiny. Join me now, your host, Penny Chason. Hey, hey, joyful souls. It is Penny here. And I wanted to express my thanks to you. You may have heard that my business is growing. And it is growing, and it's growing in a very good way. And a lot of that is thanks to you for trusting me with your transformations, for being generous enough to share testimonials of your work with me so that others can see what is possible for them. So at the beginning of the year, I was faced with either having a really long waiting list, turning people away, or training someone to help me with my client load. Now, a lot of times when people bring on team members, they step back from delivery and allow their team to deliver the services. Well, that's not what is happening here. My heart, my passion, my dharma is to help others rediscover what it is to fully love and trust themselves so that they can experience life fearlessly, whatever that may look like for them. So what this has enabled me to do is to mentor someone in my processes and in my approach so that we can help more of you have that deep sense of self-trust, self-love, worthiness, deserving, so that you can go out and create a life that not only you desire, but that you deserve. The other great thing about this is that it also allows me to offer services in a way that people who may not have been able financially to work with me before can now work with my team member and still get the same one-on-one transformation. Now, a lot of times people will DM me or they'll email me and they'll say, hey, Penny, how much for a single session? And that's really not the question. The real question to ask is what will it take for me to achieve this transformation? And the way that you find out what it's going to take to achieve the transformation that you're looking for is to book a subconscious blueprint call. You can do that by going to the website. You just fill out a form, you click submit, you get a booking link, you schedule in, And it ends up being about a 30 to 45 minute chat because in order to answer the question, it's important to understand where you're starting, what you've done so far, and the gains that you have made through the things that you've done. Once we take that and we look at where you want to be and the degree of the transformation you want, And I'll explain what I mean by that in a few moments. Then we can begin to talk about what it looks like and what the investment is. Because some people just feel like they need to get over a little hump and they can work the rest out themselves. Some people have a single issue they want to work on. For example, just straight up confidence. Some people want to work on confidence, maybe some eating habits because they eat out of stress. And they would also like to be able to say no after one glass of wine. Anytime we're doing subconscious work, it's best to focus on one thing at a time. 
but through our chat and our discussion, sometimes it becomes apparent that all of those things are tied into the biggest issue that you want to work on and sometimes just neutralizing the biggest issue. The other things will take care of themselves, but sometimes those other issues require their own session. So unless we chat, if you're just asking me how much a session is, that's like asking, does a donut have sugar in it? Yes, a donut has sugar in it, but how many calories? You know, it doesn't really give you an answer. Have you spent thousands of hours and dollars working with coaches, doing the mindset work, taking advantage of every course, tool, tip, trick, or technique that you can get your hands on so that you can lead your most joyful, most fulfilling life yet you still find yourself hesitating or holding back, then I would like for you to consider a call with our team. Head over to pennychason.com and let's have a chat today and see if you would be a good fit for the subconscious work that gets these blocks out of your way so you can move forward in life. One of my most recent clients simply came to me for money blocks. And let me tell you, Just working through the feelings around trust with money. This person had been on numerous sleep medications. They dealt with daily anxiety. They had issues around money. By the time we made it through the fourth session of a five-session package, weight was being lost. They were more active at the gym. They were sleeping through the night with no pills and they were experiencing crises at work and felt completely calm and not one bit of anxiety. Oh, and they're paying all their debt off. So it's not your job to put the equation together. It's your job to come to me with your goals and the issues you deal with. And let's take a look at everything that's going on from an objective point of view and see what it's going to take to get you there. And I want to remind you of something because this came up this week as well. And I've done a podcast episode on this. I believe it was episode 32, Why I Don't Hard Sell My Clients. But I was doing a call with this individual, and I could tell they wanted to ask me a question and were holding back. And I encouraged them to, you know, what, do you have a question? What, what would you like to ask? And the response I got was, well, I don't want to ask because I know you're going to SOM me. Now, if you don't know what SOM is, it's an acronym for an Advanced Neuro Linguistic Programming Technique. And you see that technique used in a lot of sales and persuasion marketing. I do not do that. I may ask questions to uncover why someone is waiting or why they may be putting something off if they have a history of procrastinating or delaying things. But I do not actively persuade people to book in sessions with me. When you do the deep type of transformational work that I do, it is built on a foundation of trust. Not just rapport, but trust. And if you come into your first session having buyer's remorse and feeling like, I used car salesman shifted you into booking something that you really didn't want. We're not going to get very far. And that is one of the four core values of my business. Trust. that You can trust that I'm only going to recommend to you what I feel that you need. And that if you feel like you're not ready for it yet... I'm not going to manipulate you into signing up. That is not the way I do business. 
And it made me realize something that this person said this. A lot of people who connect with me, not all of them, but a lot of them, are in the online marketplace. They're learning about marketing, writing copy, creating sales pages, emails, marketing funnels. And some of them, at some point, may have been sold something that wasn't right for them or that they didn't need. So I can understand not being sure. That's why I give you the opportunity to actually get on a phone call with me. And on that phone call, we will figure out what it is that you need. And if you're a fit, then and only then, once I know that I can help you and that we're a fit for the work that I do, only then will I let you know that I can help you. And then you get to decide. It is okay to say no. That is one of the most empowering things you can do. If something is not right for you, if someone is not right for you, to say no. I have even said no to clients, or excuse me, potential clients. People who reached out to me and felt like they had success blocks because they weren't being successful and when I would talk to them about what the problem was and what they had done to resolve it, they had fallen into this, what I call a manifestation trap that, oh, if I just put it on my vision board, if I visualize the success, if I just put a website out there, people are going to fall all over themselves to work with me. And when I talked to this person, And I asked them, well, what steps have you taken to grow your business? Like, because I have to discover where people are getting caught up and hung up to know if I can help them. Oh, I don't have a business coach. Okay, well, what mentoring program are you a part of? Who helped you put together your sales process? And they replied, oh, I just have a website. Okay. And who's your ideal client? Oh, I didn't do that. What do you mean you didn't do that? Well, I want anyone to feel like they can buy what I have. So even though I'm no marketing guru, I have done enough of the work and I have worked with a business coach. So in that moment, I was able to see you don't need hypnosis to overcome a success block. You need someone who can help you lay out the strategy to build your business. Then if you find that you're getting stuck taking action, you're procrastinating, you're distracting, you're not doing what you need to do, then by all means, reach back out to me and I am more than happy to help you. But strategy and clients don't just fall out of the sky. We have to have a plan. So I felt really bad telling that person that day that we weren't a fit but it was the most honest and best advice that I could give because I could have done all the hypnosis in the world around the way they think about their business, but without the tools in place to bring clients in, the work that I did with them was not going to change anything. So I went a little bit of a ramble here. I mean, I think we started out at how the business is growing. And yes, I'm still seeing one-on-one along with Glenda. We're both taking clients and how to book a call by going to the website and going to the work with me page and to just submit the application for the subconscious blueprint. And we'll get you on the schedule for a 30 to 45 minute chat. But, you know, there's a lot more to it. You know, people... I understand, reasonably so, are skeptical of these calls because they feel like they're going to be sold to. And I'm not going to sell to you. I'm here to serve you, to help you uncover what I think is the issue at hand. And if I can help you, how best I can do that. So anyway, if you've been reluctant to reach out because you know that I know 
sales and marketing, and you know that I know hypnotic language and neuropersuasion, I don't use that in my calls. So I want you to know you can come in, make your own decision from your own place of knowing if something is right for you. And it's okay to say no if it's not a fit. I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in today. I would love it if you would head over to iTunes and leave a positive review about how this episode has helped you to improve your life. When you leave a positive review, it helps us to reach even more people, helping them to change their lives. And that positive energy and vibration of sharing comes back to you as we spread the message of how you can use the power of intention creating stronger subconscious beliefs in raising our vibration to create the life that we desire, the one that we're here to truly live so that we can fulfill our purpose in life. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.